Okay, let's factor an expression using the rule difference of perfect squares. First thing, if you're going to have a subtraction symbol, then there's got to be a term in front and a term behind. So to factor using the rule difference of perfect squares, you're going to have a binomial, two terms connected by subtraction. When you use this rule, difference of perfect squares, which I abbreviate DPS, your answer is always going to be two binomials that are conjugates of each other. And we've already heard that word before in math. Conjugate means the binomials have the same terms. They're just changing the middle symbol. So an example of conjugates would be x plus 3 and x minus 3. So every time we factor doing difference of perfect squares, DPS, we're going to end up with our answer being two binomials that are conjugates. So let's go back to that expression, x squared minus 25. So you and I both agreed it fit the pattern of the rule because it looked at all the vocabulary. It has the difference sign, the subtraction. x squared is a perfect square because it has an even exponent. 25 is a perfect square because we know it's a number times itself. So once we know our expression is a difference of perfect squares, all we do is we put our two sets of parentheses and we start thinking to ourselves, what times itself made the first term? What times itself made the last term? So let's start with the first term, x squared. What do you multiply to make x squared that's the same? Well, that's x times x. So we put in the parentheses first an x, first an x. Then we go to the last term, 25. Don't worry about the symbol, just worry about the number. What times itself is 25? Well, that would be 5 times 5. So that's what we got our constants, 5 and 5. Now, the symbol in between is subtract. We've already discussed this. Subtract means the signs have to be different. So one of the parentheses gets the positive 5, and the other parenthesis gets the negative 5 and x plus 5 and x minus 5 are conjugates of each other. And you're done. You've just factored an expression using difference of perfect squares. Now remember, you could check yourself by doing FOIL, right? When to multiply two binomials, you do first, outer, inner, last. So let's do a verbal check. First would be x times x, which is x squared. Outers would be x times negative 5, which would be negative 5x. Inners the nose would be positive 5 times x, which is positive 5x. Last would be positive 5 times negative 5, which is negative 25. So if we multiply out the binomials doing FOIL, we would have x squared minus 5x plus 5x minus 25. Well, what do we all know about those inners and outers? If you have a minus 5x and a positive 5x, and we put that together by subtracting, it's going to make 0x which means there are no x's. So we would get back to the original expression, x squared minus 25. If you remember when we were doing the module on multiplying binomials, we talked about when you multiply conjugates, you do not have to go through F-O-I-L, because always the outers and inners will cancel to make zero. So we multiply conjugates in our head, we can cheat and do the first and the last. So again, if I want to check, if I do the first, x times x, x squared. Last, positive 5 times negative 5, negative 25. I'm back to the original. So it's very simple to factor using the rule difference of perfect squares. Let's go to the whiteboard and try a couple of examples.